As the Delta variant continues to spread, many businesses are requiring proof of vaccination before entering the establishment. If you're traveling, you may be asked to prove you've received the vaccine. So can you use your smartphone instead of the paper card? Our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker found out. So can you use a photo of your vaccination card as proof? Unfortunately, there's no single answer. Some places will take a photo, others will require the card. That being said, you may be wondering, just how safe is it to store a photo of the vaccine card on your phone? As far as hackers go, you shouldn't have anything to worry about whether you have an Android or an iPhone. Even if a bad guy were to somehow see your vaccine card, it isn't going to help them very much. There are easier ways to steal your identity using social media and poor passwords. Now you can snap a photo of your card using the iPhone or the Android device camera. One challenge, though, is being able to find it on the camera roll quickly. Most of us have dozens or hundreds of photos on the camera roll or Google Photos, and if you receive the vaccine, months ago, you'll need to scroll quite a ways to find it. Instead, set up an album to store only that photo. On an iPhone, open the Photos app, tap the plus sign, New Album, and then find the photo of your card. Then tap the Share button and add to that album. On an Android device, open Google Photos, tap New Album, and do the same thing. Now, when you have to show proof, open Photos and choose that album. But if you're traveling, you want to make sure you have your vaccination card because some places will only take the physical copy. Now, I have these steps on my blog, whatthetech.tv, and next time we're going to take a look at some of the best apps for keeping that vaccine card on your phone that more places are beginning to accept. That's What The Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Like Jamie said, when traveling, some states accept the digital version, but you should always check with the CDC website and the health information website for the states you're traveling to and from.